Hi, this is Barton Polson, and this video is for Behavioral Science 3010, Statistics for the Behavioral Sciences at Utah Valley University. In this video, I'm reviewing Practice Test B from Chapter 1 of the text, and that's Introduction to Statistics. This is the second of three practice tests that are available in Canvas. Um, the first question on this test is, if a researcher is able to survey 99% of all students enrolled in statistics classes at UVU, then that researcher has gathered data from a blank, um, a population, an experimental group, a skewed distribution, or a sample. And I believe we saw this uh, same question in the pretest. The answer to this one is a sample, D. And the idea here is that if you've gathered data, it's a sample. The sample is the group of people that you're actually able to have information from, and you're using them, even if it's 99%, you're still trying to infer something about the remaining 1% of the people in the population. And so data come from samples almost always, um, mostly because it's impractical, sometimes impossible uh, to get data from populations. Um, but generally, that's what we're dealing with. If you, And especially if you don't have it from everybody, it's a sample. Number two. The variable that is measured as an outcome in an experiment is called the blank variable. The choices are dependent, independent, quasi-experimental, and pattern. Well, the answer to this one is A, dependent. The idea here is that you have an in... Uh, it, the idea is that the variable's scores, that the way that people react to it, depends on what happens in the experiment. So the dependent variable is the one that depends on the other things. It's the outcome variable. An independent variable is the one that is manipulated by the experimenter. So it does not depend on something else in the experiment. You just make it what it is. A quasi-experimental variable is an important thing, but it's um, not part of an experiment. It's part of a quasi-experiment in which you're attempting to use correlational or observational data typically to reach a uh, causal inference. And a pattern variable is something that is used in a particular kind of quasi-experimental study, but those two don't apply to a regular experiment. So the outcome variable in an experiment is called the dependent variable, sometimes abbreviated DV. Number three, temperature in Celsius or Fahrenheit, but not Kelvin, is measured at which level of a measurement? And the choices are A, interval, B, ratio, C, nominal, and D, ordinal. The answer to this one is A, interval. Um, interval is a level of measurement that specifies how far apart things are. So you have these one degree units. It says how far apart they are, but it doesn't have an absolute zero. Because, you know, in Celsius and Fahrenheit, there is a zero degrees, but you kind of shoot right past it into the, into the negatives. Um, if there were a true zero, like there is in Kelvin, then you would have a ratio because it starts at the absolute total absence of whatever it is that's being measured and it goes up. And that's what Kelvin does. Uh, nominal, just as a reminder, simply means that you have different categories that people are in. And ordinal says this is first, this is second, this is third, and that's not what we're dealing with with Celsius or Fahrenheit. All right, the fourth one, the amount of time that a person spends on social media each week in minutes is a blank variable. Again, ratio, nominal, ordinal, or interval. In this case, it's ratio, A. And the reason for that is minutes starts at zero, and it goes up. And one minute is half as much as two minutes is half as much as four minutes. And when you're able to say twice as much or half as much, that's a ratio. And you're able to do that because you have this uh, zero that represents the absence of the thing you're talking about. Again, nominal would just be different categories. So, for instance, whether they were logging in. Um, ordinal would be who logs in the most, the least, and so on. Interval would be specifying how the, the distances between points, but I can't think of an example for interval uh, in this particular case. All right, the last of the five questions in this quiz is, if the number of games a team has lost in a season is subtracted from the number of games that they won in that season, the resulting variable would be at the blank level of measurement. Now, I realize this one is confusing. I was trying to have to make up something that would work for this. The uh, choices are nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio, or ratio and interval. And the answer is D, interval. The idea here is that the number of games, uh, the difference between the numbers and the wins is a number that can be positive or can be negative. If they have um, 
won more than they lost, it'll be positive. If they've lost more than they won, it'll be negative. And so you have a zero, but it's an arbitrary one. You can go above it or below it. On the other hand, one game, you know, a one game move is a one game move. It's the same unit all the way through. That's what makes it interval. And again, it's a little hard to come up with examples of intervals from real life, but that is one possibility. Anyhow, that does it for practice test uh, 01B, the, the practice test for chapter one, the second one. And I'll see you for 01C, the third practice test.